So it's June. The month of June in this world is supposed to be Pride Month. Pride is not a good emotion to have, especially about things that God hates. Pride right now means homosexual men and women and people that alter the gender to look like the opposite sex. The world wants them to have pride and be who they are. I am definitely for rights for people, like, you know, human rights. I think everyone should have clean water. They should have food and shelter. They should have health care. I'm a Canadian. I believe in that. As far as using the world stage to say that a certain behavior is normal when God clearly says it's not, that's not something I can get behind. I'm a Christian and a lot of people don't like Christians because they stand up against the LGBT, XYLMNP, right? I'm joking around there. But seriously, that's what that organization has done. They just add stuff on. And now there's two spirit. There's no ancestors or spirits helping people or guiding them. There are familiar spirits and demons that deceive people by, they, like, they have information on all of us, right? I don't know how it all works, of course, but two-spirited people, people are in heaven or in hell, and then there's Satan and his demons and his familiar spirits deceiving people. So Pride Month, right? It's about homosexual men and women, and it's about people that want to dress up like the opposite sex, like... Mickey Blanco here, they're a rapper, they are a gay man, they like to dress like a woman, they're living with HIV. That is something else that goes along with sodomy and that kind of behavior. So, this world right now wants to have Pride Month. It's on television, it's in sports, it's all over the place. I am not some hateful person. If I hated people, I would know what I know and I wouldn't say anything and I'd go, you're on your own world. See if I care if you go to hell. But I don't think that way. I do not want this person or anyone to go to hell. I don't think it's going to work like that. There definitely will be people going to hell. I think about that and I have to kind of move on because it is very serious business. So I'd rather have people not like me or hate me and tell them the truth that can save their soul for eternity or rather than just itch their ears, tell them something they want to hear or be pleasant about things. I do not hate this person on the screen. I'm using them as an example because it's pride month. This is a man that's homosexual. They're dressing like a woman here with makeup and they've done their hair to look feminine. They're doing the Anjali Mudra. It looks like prayer hands, right? Is that to throw us off and make them think they're holy or something? They dress like a woman. This is something God calls sin and abomination. God calls it that. I'm in agreement with God. I don't hate this person. I want all of us to not do things that God hates. Kind of simple, hey? But no, we have choices in the world. A lot of people make poor choices. I think about the days when people have that regret in their heart. If they're on their way to hell or whatever, God knows everyone's hearts. But the regret people will have, there'll be weeping, gnashing of teeth. These are phrases God uses when people will realize, what? Jesus is real? How I acted, what I said, what I do? It all mattered? I'm a sinner in need of a savior? Yeah. The world doesn't like hearing that everyone's a sinner, but we are. We're all sinners. And if you've been paying attention to my channel and others like it, you will know there's certain signs, symbols, and agendas that are anti-Christ, they're not from God, or they're not for God? You think God wants people keeping a secret about things? Or does God want us to be honest and open and help save souls? So while the world may look like they're Christian or doing something or whatever, they want the world wants to do what it wants and have Pride Month. It's a good thing. And then, are we going to talk honestly about things? Oh, Illuminati, but like... Right? All these, all these buzzwords that don't seem to help people. The world is biblical. It matters what we do. No one can gain their way into heaven, earn their way into heaven. Oh, I'm a good person most of the time, but sometimes I fail. And 
We're all human. We all fail. That's not the problem. The problem is getting up and humbly walking with God or siding with the world, loving the world, living for the world, living for the flesh, all these things which are easy to do in the wide, broad, open path, or walk the path with Jesus Christ, which is maybe things you like you can stop doing. It's hard at first, but it gets easier because you realize what the world is, eternity, salvation, these things are worth it. Brothers and sisters, everyone listening, God bless you. 